Hello, welcome to the War Rogers News Channel. Thank you for watching. All right, let's go ahead and look at the Little Cup League number five. Okay, Battle Boy vs Sweet Tea for you. So we're going to be right back. The prize is Shiny Meow. Please stay tuned to the War Rogers News Channel. All right, turn number one, Bella Raboy via Sweet Tea for you. All right, good luck to both of you. Good luck. All right, so um, there is a likelihood that both Onyxes have uh, sturdy. Ooh, Rock Tomb. All right, Rock Tomb. Let's lower down the speed. Salic. Salic Onyx seems to be really popular. Wow. Now I'm going to guess that these little cups probably made the Amnesia Brace quite popular. That's just a guesstimate of mine. Alright, Shiny Talo. I'm going to assume that there's probably going to be a Rock Blast. Taylor Talo might do a quick attack. Nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Alright. Tim Raps. Elect Kid. Alright. Man. I'm going to guess that Taylor's probably going to switch. Due to the fear of a thunder punch. There we go. Ice punch. Okay. That's that's an interesting pick. Chin Chow is probably going to do a surf, probably. I th I think a surf would be would be plausible. All right, so, um, uh, Elect Kid, I'm not sure if Elect Kid is banded or not. Hmm. Yep, it's banded. So Elect Kid is going to switch to Chin Chow. Surf. But it's not going to be effective, though. Uh... Alright. Surf. I wonder, I wonder if uh, Sweet Tea for You has been Special Choice Banded. Wow. Organberry. Sweet Tea for You is probably going to knock out uh, Bellabra Boy. If he has his Chin Chow out. But, well, Bellabra Boy needs to figure out some way to cure his, his Chin Chow. And fast. Alright. And the knockout. So, what's going to be next? Here. Lower boy must have something to counteract Chin Chow. Magnemite. Now I'm going to guess this Magnemite is probably hidden power grass. Alright. Hmm. 
Nice. Surf. There we go. Critical hit. And the Bataya Berry has increased the special attack. And the hidden power has proven fatal against Sweetie for you. Could this be Bellabra Boy's comeback? I sense an extreme speeder. And I was right. Alright, so... So, Elect Kid is probably gonna... Mm, yeah, I think, I think Elect Kid is probably going to do an Ice Punch. Which, in turn, is gonna make Dr Dratini's run away. Alright, Dratini's gonna switch into Porygon. Ice Punch is pretty neutral. But it did freeze Porygon 2, so... Let's see how Porygon 2 thaws out of this one. Frozen one turn. I'm going to guess that Porygon 2 is either going to thaw out or freeze, or, right, or stay frozen. Mm. If, if a light kid can keep doing Ice Punch, maybe there's a chance that Porygon 2 may not defrost. Does it defrost? Yes, it defrosts. Alright, so there's a Tri-Attack. Tri-Attack is coming in. Porygon 2 is the comeback kid. Alright. There's the sidekick. And Porygon is going to do an ice beam, which is going to be super effective against Execute and prove fatal. So so Elect Kid could come in. Elect Kid could come in with a with a cross chop. Abra. Now, Porygon could, uh, I mean, it could have done Signal Beam, but, alright. Yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, Abra is a bit faster. Alright. There's Extreme Speed, which is going to prove fatal against Abra. And Tim Raps is coming right back into the game, aka Light Kid. I keep wanting to say the comeback kit. Alright, so there's the ice punch. The chances look very minimal for Belber Boy to win this match. Can he still do it? Yes. Is it is his path impossible? Well, there's the answer to that question. Yes, it is impossible. Congratulations, sweet tea for you for winning that match. So now we're just waiting for Sweet Tooth for you vs... Oh! You get to tape two semi-finals. Whoever wins this match, I'll get to tape this match. Alright, so Sweet Tooth for you vs whoever wins this match. Alright. So we will be right back. Please stay tuned to the Roy Rogers News Channel. All right, Epic Verde vs. Frags. Okay, so the first layer of spikes have been dropped. Turn number two, and the Sludge Bomb has made contact with uh, uh, with Pineco. Sorry about that. Uh, um, there's a bowl of broccoli in front of me, and uh, you know, I was trying to chow. I was trying to chow down as much as possible while while there was a wait time. All right. Whoa! Wow, that that stick of dynamite. Wow. I'm sure that caught coughing off uh, by surprise. All 
let me complete eat. Well, well, let me complete my my meal. Well, actually, let me complete the broccoli that all this in my in my mouth right now, and then I can commentate a little better. Mm -mm. That broccoli tasted pretty good, and wow. That ice beam surely did did, uh, did a clean kill on coughing. All right, so mm. as a chin chow, I think it it would be really useful to invest in hidden power grass. I really think that. Well, this guy, I think this guy did it. I think Epic Verde did it. Alright, so Epic Verde could go for Surf if he's not Choice Bandit, or I mean Special Choice Bandit, sorry. If he's not Special Choice Bandit, he could go for Surf. Now I don't see any indication that, that his health was taken away by Life Ball, according to the logs. Yep. So he is a special choice band. All right. So if I had to guess, Rutini is probably going to do extreme speed. Rutini, the lightning dragon. <laughs> Tried to be like a, um, like Flash. You know the the the, the fast superhero from. I don't know, is it Marvel or DC? I think. Man, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some people angry here. <laughs> if I don't guess the right genre, so I'm just gonna play safe and not not say if it's Marvel or DC. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go there. Um, I, was, I know that some, I know that some of my viewers here are, are fans of uh, both Marvel and DC, so yeah. All right, there we go. All right, so agility. Is going to increase the speed. All right. Onyx usually carries sturdy, so oh, Epic Verde is just going in. He's going in. He's hoping that Onyx is not sturdy, but it, Onyx is sturdy. Okay. Earthquake does prove fatal against Chinchow, and it doesn't look so good for Epic Verde. Epic, Epic Abra. <laughs> uh. All right, that's an interesting name for an Abra. All right, now that Abra is probably uh, maybe hidden power fighting, maybe either hidden power fighting or hidden power grass. I doubt that Abra is hidden power ground. I really doubt it. And I also doubt that Abra is hidden power water. Alright, so... There's a Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch should prove fatal, and it does. Alright. This does not look good for, for Epic Verde. Alright, so... Elect Kid could switch into something that could probably withstand an Earthquake... All right, so Frag's gonna go into Whopper, which Whopper could withstand an earthquake, I think. Ooh, Rock Blast. Yeah, Whopper took that like a boss. All right. Is that Onyx Choice Bandit? I have a gut feeling that it is. Wow. So, all there is left for Epic Verde is Whelmer and Onyx. Man, what a tight situation to be in. Chin Chow can easily knock out both of them. Elect Kid can do it too, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated for Elect Kid. Hybra Voice. Alright. Now, I think Frags does have the upper hand here. I think that... Alright, so Chin Chow... 
Nice. Whoa, nice. That that was a that was a pretty clean blow, if you ask me. Wow. All right, so Onyx is. Uh, I'm not too sure who's faster here. I think Chin Chow is faster, right? Onyx is embracing itself. And the Salic Berry! There we go. Now Onyx can just sweep everything with Earthquake, depending on how fast everything is. Now, what's the other Pokemon that Frags is trying to hide? We don't know. And this could put Epic Verde. Uh, well, actually, this could be the boost that that uh, that Epic Verde just needed. He just needed that that boost. <laughs> that that's kind of funny. Onyx endured the hit. So, all right. Well, GG, Epic Verde, you tried. Congratulations. Frags, but we're still not done yet. Yes, believe it or not, we have filmed two semifinals, not just one semifinal battle. Frags and Sweet Tea for you now have to do a face off. So we will be right back. Please stay tuned to the Roy Rogers News Channel, where things get pretty epic here. We'll be right back. Oh, all right, we are back. Sweet tea for you, VS Frags! Alright, now... Remoraid. Remoraid is probably gonna do Surf here. Or just switch. Now, Onyx could do Earthquake. 100... 100 Eyes. That's an interesting name. Sometimes opponents like to name their stuff so that way they can distract you in the battle. And sometimes you're like, wait, why, why did that guy name it some silly name? If a guy names it, if, if a guy names his Pokemon something a little off, then you know that he's trying to confuse you. He wants you to take your mind off of the match and, you know, just kind of figure out why did he name it that. That's a pretty good strategy. It tricks your brain, but it's a pretty good strategy. All right. Uh, let's see. Extreme speed is gonna hit, and bullet seed is probably gonna prove fatal. Yep. All right. Ah, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Whew. All right, I didn't want you all to hear me sneeze. Okay. So, Chinese Taylor. What's gonna happen? All right, so 100 Eyes is going to switch into Aaron, and it's probably going to be Double Edge, right? Yep, Double Edge. Wow. Aaron took that quite nicely. I mean, considering the fact that it's four times resistant to normal, uh, I'm not surprised. Since it's Rock and Steel type. Both of those types are resistant to normal moves. Wow! That was a pretty good... That was a pretty good prediction. And that forced Sweet Tea for you to use his, uh... His Salic Berry quite quickly, actually. Which means Sweet Tea for you is forced to attack now. Now, Onyx could do an Earthquake here... Rock Blast. All right. All right, Elect Kid. 
Now, I'm assuming that Elect Kid is faster than Salic Buried Onyx, which is why Frags was so confident to pull in Elect Kid. Alright. Ooh, what an excellent prediction! Wow! That... That was really on the nail! <laughs> wow. I don't know what Frax was thinking there, but whatever he was thinking, it was genius! By golly! Alright. Wow, that, that kind of stunned me a little bit. Alright, so... Just, just cross chop, knowing that Sweet Tea for You is going to switch. Oh, well, I'm not too sure if Frags even knew about it. Wow. Alright. Sweet Tea for You was probably thinking, eh, probably a nice punch or something. <laughs> just uh, cross chop, alright. So, Anorth. Anorth. Um. Anorth might have Earthquake on it. Hmm. Now, Elect Kid might switch into something. Or, if Elect Kid thinks he can handle it, or she can handle it, then she can continue to do Cross Chop hopes to knock out Anorth. Alright, so... Frax is taking a little bit of some time, so he's probably doing some calcs. And he's probably thinking, no, can this hit? No, can that hit? Alright, so he's, he's doing the calcs, and he found that Aaron seems to be the better choice. And Aaron is out. Alright. Talk about sacking. There's still three unknown Pokemon that Frags has, while Sweet Tea for You only has one unknown Pokemon. Alright. There's a lot of mystery here. Now... Anorth... For Sweet Tea for You's sake... I hope that <laughs> that's not a choice scarf or that's what's up, sorry, a choice banded. Because if it is, then then he's then he can't really do much. All right, so Frag is uh, Chin Chow's gonna do Surf. Not Sweet Tea for you. Sweet Tea for you is gonna strike back with his own Surf, and that was a critical. But Frag ultimately takes the cake. And does a bit of a surf of his own and proves fatal against Sweet Tea for You's Chin Chow. Alright, so this Anorth probably has Earthquake. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking either Earthquake. Oh, Rock Slide. That's even better. Magnemite? Okay. Well, that, that's an interesting pick. Uh. I think the reason why Frags picked Magnemite is because Frags probably knows that Anorth is Choice Banded. So that means that Anorth is forced to switch out, and that means that Magnemite gets a free hit. Now, will Magnemite predict the Onyx? Alright, so let's see what he does here. Hidden Power. Alright, so it did neutral damage, so I'm probably assuming that it's either Hidden Power Fighting or Hidden Power Grass. It has to be one of those two Hidden Powers. Fighting or Grass. Alright, he's just going to take a chance here. He's going to take a chance with, with Taylor. Let's see how Hidden Power does. Super effective. Could be Hidden Power Ice, then. If it's not Hidden Power 
fighting or hidden power grant, then it has to be hidden power ice because of the way how it's super effective against Halo. It has to be. Alright, so Van Orth probably has Earthquake, right? Earthquake, Brick Break, or something like that. Uh, something like that. Alright, so Ma Magnemite is going to do Endure here. I'm going to predict a Pattaya. Salak. That's an interesting pick. But Anorth was still faster and knocked out Magnemite. Alright, so Onyx is going to come in. What a surprise. All Frags has to do is knock out Anorth. Once, once Frags knocks out Anorth, then he kind of has control over uh, the outcome of this match. Or he can knock out Onyx. Yep, Frags really wants control over the outcome. So, okay, so I'm predicting Sturdy, so I'm thinking immediately to myself. Uh, GG. Frags won. Congratulations. GG. Wow. And sweet tea for you for a close second. Congratulations. Anyways, this is a, this is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment or subscribe to my channel. Like or dislike the content that you see here. And this is the Roy Rogers News Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased Roy Rogers News.